Hey there, Peppermint Pals! It is Art Snacks time. I actually got this yesterday. It's, it's Sunday now. It's Sunday the 1st, so of course we don't get any mail, but I got this yesterday on the 30th of June, so the past couple months it's been a little bit late, and so it's really cool that I got this. Um, sorry, I'm just listening, seeing what's in there. I got this actually just a teeny bit early. Um, I wasn't actually expecting it till at least, you know, Monday the second. But here it goes. We're opening it up. I'm not sure if I should have used my Exacto knife. Luckily, I can. Uh, if it dulls down the blade, I can change it. But woo, exciting! Oh, 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 they gave, um, another pad of this, uh, a few months ago they did, uh, actually it was, it was a while ago they had this long thing, so, oh, Laffy Taffy, sorry, got, uh, distracted, but yes, um, long watercolor thing, I think it might have been a different paper, but it was long like this. So, there's that. Oh, no way. That is the cutest sticker that Art Snacks has ever put out. End of discussion. Look at that. It's a watermelon pretzel. How freaking adorable is that? And this is Aqua Ink Graphics. Ooh, it's a watercolor ink. Interesting. So I'll be doing something with with ink. Now, what's in here? Oh, okay, a brush. Oh, interesting. It's got like a grip to it. So we got a brush for the watercolor. Oof, we've got an acrylic twin marker. This looks like a orange. And then a Copic drawing pen. And it's a two. Oh no way. Oh, I wonder if this is to dip in the ink. That would, um, that'd be interesting. So, um, let me, um, read what this is. Actually, first let me read about the pen. Um, water based dye ink won't bleed or dry and use with Copic products or other markers. However, it is not waterproof. Be sure to let the ink or watercolor dry completely before using this pen over it. Wait, so this has ink in it? Yeah, you gotta go the other way. No way. That is epic. That's cool. Okay. So that's different. Um, the watercolor ink. Pigmented, light fast, and then of course this twin marker. It is a mot mot Moloto? Yeah, Moloto. Moloto however it's pronounced. Um, yeah, so I think I've got like an orange. So that'll be interesting. So I'm kind of stuck what to draw for this month, but I will definitely look it up. And I will, uh, well, my face will see you when I review these products and we'll see you in just a couple seconds when I start using them.
Hey there Peppermint Pals! So it is actually a few days after I made the picture. Here it is in all its glory. Just some fish swimming. And they have big eyes. They're like Popeye goldfish only. I think Popeye goldfish are black and these are orange. But they're really cute. They're just kind of fictional fish. Um, and uh... I kind of remember, oh, you know what, I don't have my ink, it's over here. Voila! I kind of remember the, <laughs> the supplies and how much I liked them. So, um, I'll just start with the brush because I really don't have anything to say about it. It's a nice brush. Um, I guess people got different types, like I got this small flat one, some people got pointy ones, some people got kind of angled. <laughs> So yeah, I didn't actually, you'll notice I didn't do a lot of painting. Maybe um, I'll do kind of a second drawing or painting um, with a little bit more of the ink. Um, just kind of get an idea. But I, it's a nice brush. What I, I, I'd say I like the grip, but I don't really notice it because I don't really, I don't even know how I hold my brushes. Yeah, I don't really hold them like that, so, but if you do hold them like that, I think that's a really good little thing to have, that there's a nice grip there instead of just the roundness. Um, fine bristles, fine shape, nothing really positive or negative. I'm not really as into the rectangular brushes, but um, that's just me. So I'm just going to give this, I mean I really, I think I'm just going to go ahead and do what I do and I don't really have an opinion on things, I'll just go 2.5 out of 5, because that's a good middle ground, because like I said, I mean it's a nice brush, but it's not like, it's just like every other brush I've tried, I shouldn't say that, like, I mean I don't see it standing out really positively or really negatively from other brushes I've tried. Uh, the grip is really nice, so I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna bump that up to a 3 out of 5 because, um, the grip, I don't really need it, but for people who do like having that grip, I think that's a really good thing to have. So I'm gonna give this a 3 point, or just a 3, 3.0 3 out of 5, so. Aqua ink, I love this, because it's, it's a watercolor ink, so you could also, you could rehydrate areas if you needed to, like I think down here there's some areas where I rehydrated. Beautiful color, it's petrol, the, it says it's petrol, but it was like kind of like a aqua with a little bit more blue um, to it, I guess, a turquoise. Um, so people is petrol people um over in the UK and and Europe and stuff is petrol supposed to be green like aqua colored because gasoline is clear and I was under the impression that gasoline and petrol are the same thing they just call it differently in different parts of the world but I might be wrong or maybe I'm pronouncing this wrong or maybe it, the this the color isn't petrol that's something else but it's definitely not doesn't smell like petrol <laughs> so I don't think it's real petrol I hope it's not <laughs> never do a can you paint with petrol challenge that is that is a bad choice um, I'm getting way off track I really liked it. I like the color. I like the consistency. I like that you could rehydrate it. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna give this a 4.5 out of five. Uh, the paint pen. I actually really liked. Um, it did kind of get a little streaky. I had to keep layering it, but that's just the thing with regular paint pens. Great paint pen. I love the color more than I thought I would. I was like, wow, that's a really bright orange. That I mean, that looks like, hey, there's like construction workers around kind of orange. Um, but I liked it a lot better than I thought it would. And I think it goes really well with the blue, surprisingly. Um, 
So yeah, um, I really liked it. I'm going to give that one... I'll give that one a... 3.4 out of 5. Um... And then this, I like better than I thought I, I would. Uh, I thought it was going to really tear into my picture. It was going to be really scratchy. And you just, you got to get it right. And you have to keep, like, I don't know. I either am not using it very well or you just have to keep working at it. But I was able to get it all right. And it didn't really scratch into my drawing. Um, I do like dip pens. But this is a little different than a dip pen because the ink is inside it. Um... So, yeah, it was better than I thought it would be. It's definitely not um, a fine liner I would go to if I needed a fine liner. I would pick something else. But um, compared to what I was expecting, it was really nice. So I'm going to give that... Um, I'm going to give this a 3 out of... No. Is it better than the brush? Eh. It's a little better than the brush because the brush is just a brush, in my opinion. Like, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I can't really rate that. I feel like I feel like rating like the actual art supplies rather than the tools you use to make the art supplies. But that's I mean, that's kind of unfair too because you can have really bad brushes. Um, I'm getting off track again. Um, what did I say for this? I said three. Yeah, I'll give this a three. And then, of course, we have the cutest sticker Art Snacks has ever put out. Look at that. I don't know where to put it yet, but it's so freaking adorable. And now, the Laffy Taffy. So, um... This is going to be weird. Some artificial cherries I like. Some reminded me, uh, remind me of a shampoo. I had, um, when, uh, I was, like, a kid. So, um, first let's read the jokes, because it's Laffy Taffy. Eric? Oh, that's the name of who sent it. Okay. What did the red fish say to, what did the red fish say to the sad navy fish? Your blue, ha <laughs> ha. And what does a 500 pound parakeet say? Tweet. Is that supposed to be an anti joke? Whatever, let's just eat the candy. I also might have outgrown that thing where it reminds me of my the shampoo I had as a kid because I haven't had that shampoo in so long. I'm at a Smells good. Smells like summer at the pool. Hmm. That's good. I think that is the shampoo smell. But I've gotten over it. Laffy Taffy is good. This is a weird review. Because the last time I had something I'd never tried before and I thought I wasn't going to like. And this time it's something I've had. Yeah. Anyways, that's it for the art supplies review.